This playthrough is rated M for Mature. This is it. The progenitor. The core of the Diablosis. In the end, all creation succumbs to chaos. Here you now gaze upon chaos itself! Diablosis mutated itself. The progenitor is going out of control. We have to stop it now. All right, looks like we're near the final. I don't know if we're at the final combat. We're, we're like really close to it. We're fighting like a weird phase Thanatos. You can see his weakness is that big. Is his weakness just smacking him, or I have to see if my new combo is very good? You cannot kill me. I will live on in your memories forever. Hey man, you're no Freddy Krueger. You can't live on in our nightmares. Actually, you kind of look like every other futuristic bad guy, I gotta admit. Ha -ha. Whatever it takes to kill you. She's not a bad old tree. She, she, uh, she's done her job. Okay, scene 12, Diabolosis Soma. While I still do have a set plan or solid research, I do know no matter the course of events, change is inevitable. I will embrace that fact. Embody it. And while the form has yet to take shape, I know what I must do. Diary of Zest Lambert, January 2nd, 2030. I, gotta I think we're at the final battle, folks. We're close to it. There's got to be a crack somewhere. Too big for just one opening. Come on, show me where you're weak. Okay, so we have to go up, climb up the tower, I guess. Fight the fight the man of the fight the man of the hour. Okay, so I can't go there. So maybe I have to hit that that uh, flaming red spot. Well, too bad they took out my uh, my gal. I got to get rid of her. Made her uh, Kinda sucks I don't get a container for the final battle, but that makes sense. So. Give me back the okay, so I was supposed to do that. I am no one with this arc. I know everything. I will be complete. Okay, so I need to go up to right there. So I can hit his next his next red spot. Kinda like a kinda reminds me of a uh, oh what was the uh, game? Lost Lost Planet. <laughs> Where's his weakness? It's the bright yellow spot in his brain. The... 
Uh, what hit me? Something hit me like really bad. Just ignore it, I guess. I don't know. Where is it? It's right over here somewhere. Yeah, interesting, uh, interesting boss, I guess. I mean, why is it always most bosses in most games turn into these big, huge, like, ass monsters, but they don't actually, like, do what they should do? Like, they should be attacking me every second. I think, I guess, Shadow of the Colossus is considered a great game, and they don't do that there either, so. Come on. It's gotta be one of these floating things. Oh, it's this, okay. Ow. Yes, there the suffering. Can you feel our shit writhing in pain? You bastard! Yes, yes. That's it. that anyway. Heal. Luckily they don't fly behind uh, the covers to attack me. That's good. Oh, there's the other one. You cannot hurt me, big man. Big man! The new superhero! Fighting evil! That's all we call him, big man. I assume this is still Thanos or something like that, right? Just a big, huge, huge hole in the street. Oh, God, did I die? Oh, okay, I'm still alive. Wasn't sure if I died. I was like, I'm, I'm not moving, so. Can I, can I just get paid? suck if I'd miss that jump. That would have like sucked for hard for it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just I feel like that would be a cheap way to kill me in a boss fight. I saw another weakness somewhere. Oh, he grabbed me. Not cool man, not cool. hitting him even though it shows me it shows it being a red spot like when I aim I can't tell if I'm actually hitting him. Ouch. Speaking of the the music chorus I've noticed they a lot of games have been doing that now. Do you know there's actually a like like a specific group of people that specifically do that chorus sound uh, in like movies and stuff like that? Like that's all they do is just the chorus noise. The, oh, he, oh, he, oh, you know type of thing. I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah. That's what I thought. Actually, you know what this guy kind of reminds me of? Like Godzilla or something like that. Yeah. Am I wrong? So we're hitting him. Yeah. I should get a uh, go into a new area. So now I'm, I'm left open to the devices of the. Uh, Trouble with these guys. Oh, run. Oh, 
Shit, that would suck if I could have gotten like knocked off. That would that would piss me off like something horrible. I do need to get like, to a new position because I'm having I'm having trouble hitting him. Really. There we go. All these memories of lies. The monster, the nightmares are back. I'm gonna rip you apart. Where's the next week? Okay, there we go, I see it. Oh, that. I need some more I need some more ammo. That is not Valena! Since if you kill it, you kill me too! I will rip her out of you as I tear you to pieces! Fuck. <laughs> that was suck because dying, I would have to do that all over again. Yeah, that's right, folks. The whole thing. Whoop, got two. Now it's on. Don't get too close to me by smacking it. I can hit these things. Bear back up a bit just in case it wants to smash his hand through that wall. Uh, I will say sometimes he actually kills those monster things for me. Or whatever they're called, those are flying these monsters. Run. Back up. Back up. You're definitely not the most effective giant monster. Then again, if, you know, I always have a weird question with like how big stuff is done in games, mainly because of a. Uh, oh dear, that's not good. Hopefully I have enough time to uh, beat it before before that actually becomes an issue. I thought, I thought my controller was fully charged. I guess I forgot to do that. Um, but, like, I was like, oh man, that big creature in that game would just so crush the dude. But I keep, I keep getting reminded of mice and mosquitoes and bees and hornets and stuff like that. Like, I mean, how annoying is it and how often do you actually get that stuff in the first go? I mean, it's the same with flies, right? You know? There we go.
The tower's clearing. We stopped the Diablosis. It's over. I got unfinished business with your father. Oh wow, we still we I thought we were at the end of the game, folks. Apparently there's a bit more to go. Alright, let's keep going. Scene thirteen, the seed of Gnosis. Humanity can evolve past its petty tendencies, and I will make it do so. My methods themselves will live and grow as humanity grows. Long after I am gone, my legacy will still shine brightly throughout the world, and humanity will look upon its benevolent splendor and know the world is good. Excuse me for that part. Diary of Zaist Lambert, August 13th, 2029. I was only going to the top to destroy the Diablosis. That was what I was fighting for. That was all I knew. But this thing was behind it all. The fights. The tower itself. Me. <laughs>
gonna die here? Huh. Well, there you go. That's the end of Quantum Theory. We finally did it. We destroyed the tower, which I guess sent a message to all the other towers to, I don't know, break down, destroy themselves. And then apparently Sid got out alive, but the girl just disappeared. Perhaps she died. Perhaps she survived. Who knows? Um, what can I say? Um, you know, an epic, an epic boss fight with kind of a decently easy last boss where you just destroy the crystal where you're fighting multiple versions of that one girl. Talk about a menage a trois, huh? <laughs> so, what do I think about this game? Well, I can't say it's great, but I can't say it's horrible either because it's... It, it actually had some interesting parts to it. And it's not like it was buggy, you know? I mean, I, that's debatable for a couple of parts, but overall, it still functioned as a game. So you can't give it like a really poor score, but you can't give it a really great score because you know it, suff it suffers very repetitiveness, n n unlikable main characters. I mean, I didn't really care for him. I didn't hate him. I just like eh, whatever. Uh, the bo the monsters. I mean, were kind of interesting, but they still had that kind of genericness about them that just didn't really set them apart. You know, uh, there was no really interesting NPCs. Um, not really a whole bunch in the collectibles department. Kind of hard to find, apparently, but they didn't... I don't know, maybe if I found all of them, I would have known a bit more about the story, and maybe explains a bit more. Uh, but, you know, I didn't do that, so there you go. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, now, I mean, one of the things I did kind of like about the concept of this game was the... I wouldn't say design of the monsters or anything like that, but more like the the, the idea of the environment changing, uh, moving around, adjusting, and stuff like that. I thought that was an interesting concept, though I don't think the game executed as well as it could have. But it was definitely an interesting design. Like I, I like that idea. So you played Keith Ferguson. I've heard him before. Steve Bloom of Santos. Oh, uh, Fear and Seed as well. Oh, Troy Baker was in here as well as uh, Zolf. Huh, that's interesting. Interesting. I didn't I didn't recognize his voice. He's a pretty good voice actor too. Uh, he's done actually done quite a few famous roles in the last couple of years, at least at the time of recording. Uh let's see. I mean in terms of music, let's let's go with that first. Music. Um music had a overall it had a lot of sameness, but there was a couple of sections like the boss fight, you know, a couple of areas which were pretty neat, so you know, deep, not not too bad. It, was, it definitely wasn't terrible. I mean, it definitely set the mood for whatever it was. Um, graphics overall, um, I can't say they're poor. I, I would say they're about kind of in the middle, too, because it, it's nothing groundbreaking, I would say, but it, it was interesting enough to keep me at least kind of interested, except for the parts where it kind of squeezed you in and give you enough to like really look around. But when you did, it was pretty neat. And there were a couple of neat little areas, so I can't... I thought it was just going to be like gray and dark all over the place. That's what I was really thinking. But they actually had a couple of different areas and different scenery. 
you know, and the, that the thing in the past was kind of neat to ex at least set up the character a little bit. Um, what else can I really say about it? Um, plot. Ugh, I can't really say I like the plot, mainly because it just, it was just like, go to this tower and destroy it because humanity, some stuff happened with humanity. Um, so really there's not much, not much I can say on that, so. I guess that's the end credits. All right. Well, or is it going to keep going? Okay, it's going to keep going. For, I wasn't sure if I needed to stop or not. Yeah, plot. There. I mean, there's plot, but I. It didn't really get me into it. Maybe it's because I didn't like the main characters at all, so I didn't really find myself invested. I was just really just playing the game to play the game. I didn't really. I wasn't caring what was next. So, oh, I guess that's the finale so let me I, I was sending the game back um nice try Tecmo Koei I mean you tried something different tried something Gears of War didn't really pan out uh, hopefully you'll try again but if not I guess this is it